This is going to be a video tutorial on how to use the knife tool in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to jump over to a new artboard here and I'm going to draw a rectangle to show you how this works. I'm going to color it a different color here. Your knife tool can be found under the eraser tool. If you find the, it's in the tools panel under the eraser tool, if you hold down your left mouse button on the eraser tool, you will bring up the tools that are located under the eraser tool. You got the scissors tool, and then you got the knife tool. The knife tool does not have a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to select the knife tool here. What the knife tool is used for is it's used to divide uh, shapes, objects, or even text. What I'm going to do is hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to draw a line all the way through my shape here. You just freehandedly draw. Now I'll release my mouse button. Now I'll go up to the selection button. I'll click off of my object and then I'll select the top portion. See now I have divided this object. It is now two objects. You could recolor it differently. Let me draw a different object here. I'm going to draw an eclipse. I'm going to go to my knife tool. This comes in very handy for graphic design. I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'm going to click off of my object. I'm going to click back on it. I'm going to grab the top portion. You can even do this with text. Yeah, it just simply divides your path. It divides your object. Let me bring up some text here. The way that you use your knife tool to divide text, I'm going to put some text up here on my screen. I'm just going to go with this, the normal or an Ipsum text. The way you use your knife tool to divide text, you need to select your uh, text. See the bounding boxes around my text here. I'm going to right click on my text and I'm going to go down to create outlines. Now I will go over to and select ungroup. You need to ungroup it. Now I'm going to click off of my text. I'm going to choose my knife tool. And now I'm going to draw a line through my text. As you can see, there's a line going through my text now. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'm going to grab that top portion of my text. But that's what the knife tool is used for. You can divide shapes, paths, objects. Thanks for watching.